Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Then let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pops firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. That's you and me. If you would like to become a part of the family, email your resume and cover letter to careers at ccmsclaims.com. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you gonna do when something goes wrong? Just Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need, head on over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. Well, in today's world, what used to take a day to go and, and document, right, can be done in, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, right, because of the power of the tools that are available now. And what that means for adjusters is that they don't have to spend as much time on that part of their job and actually use that extra time to engage with the homeowner, right, complete the file, and then be able to go in and engage on the next file. In this video, part of Adjuster TV's ongoing coverage of the 2020 NACA convention, I chat with Walter Letty, CEO of IAS Claim Services, on whether or not technology will replace independent field adjusters, starting now. You're watching The Property IA Show. Hey, Matt here with The Property IA Show on Adjuster TV and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe to Adjuster TV here on YouTube. Click on the bell notification so that you never miss a video. This has to be one of the longest running debates and conversations in all of the independent field claims adjusting world. Is technology going to take over our industry and make us obsolete? Specifically, virtual claims where an untrained, unlicensed person goes out on inspections using only their smartphone and scopes houses and cars. You've probably heard of this as photo inspections or virtual assist. Also, some computer brain living in a mainframe under the desert in Utah or in your phone, it's gonna be so good at identifying damage that insurance can just send in photos and the computer will scope and write the damage. We're actually starting to see this a little bit on the auto side. And also, of course, drones. A kid's toy that is being used to scope and photograph damage to structures. And there are claims out there that these drones can accurately identify hail damage using AI and machine learning and so much more. The truth is, these things are all true and they're all happening. So what does that mean for us? Well, Walter Letty, CEO of the IA firm IAS, has managed a long career in business technology, working for companies like Delta and Hewlett Packard, among others. I caught up with him at the 2020 NACA convention in Las Vegas in January and asked him some of the questions I know you, the working IA, are asking. Here's Walter. My name's Walt Letty. I'm the CEO of uh, IAS Claim Services. We're a, an IA firm based out of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, we've been in operation for over 35 years. I joined IAS just over a year and a half ago uh, with the purpose of building the, the nation's best uh, IA firm. Uh, I come from a background working in technology services and the reason I joined IAS is I saw a huge opportunity to think through the best way to deliver you know, great service experiences to uh, our carriers, uh, to people who've been impacted by you know, major uh, weather events, and to go assemble the best team of people who can go out there and create those, those experiences that those carriers and those people who've been impacted deserve. So what we've done over the last year and a half is really taken a hard look at what our carrier partners need. And based on those expectations, we've gone out to the market, found the right people who know how to go deliver great claim experiences, and then also found some of the best adjusters throughout the United States. You know, when we think about service, what does that mean? It means, of course, quality. Each and every time they engage any of their customers, doing it with speed, doing it with empathy, and understanding what those, those people need to transition from a place where they've been impacted by tragedy 
to a place where they have hope. And so that is the mission of IAS, is that we want to be that partner to our carriers so that they can fulfill the promise that they've, they've uh, extended to their customers. We, we've made a strategic decision as a company to invest in NACA. The reason we're here is because we know that NACA is an organization that wants to cultivate and, and increase the, the, the knowledge and value that, that adjusters can provide. Right? This is the one place where we can come as a company to go and engage with those professionals. Whether they've been in the industry for 30 plus years or they're getting their first start, uh, we know that this is a place where we can come and talk to the people that make our company successful. NACA represents the place where adjusters can come and, and learn what it means to continue to, to hone their craft. And we at IAS believe that we want to be a part of that because we believe our future is dependent on having great adjusters. We don't want to just uh, be the company that, that just takes that talent and uses it. We want to give back. And so that's why we've chosen to partner with NACA and be the platinum sponsor this year for the NACA conference, is because we believe that this is a place where that can happen. So in terms of technology, the guidance I would give to adjusters is that this industry is changing. Right? And the reason it is changing is because there are new ways to, to embrace the technology that's available to create better service. And so examples of that are, are clear, whether it's drone type technologies, smartphone technologies, uh, the way that we use the internet. All of these things should enhance the way that an adjuster can go and write a claim. And and do that with speed and do it with quality. And so with IAS, what we are looking at are how to bring some of those technologies together, not to replace the adjuster, but to actually allow our adjusters to, to do the things that, that they're required to do each and every day. And so that's what we're trying to bring to the market, bring to our adjusters, to bring to our carriers, is how to, how to really think thoughtfully about the technology that is out there and then bring that to our adjusters and to our teams to make them more successful. So a lot of adjusters that I've talked to, right, they talk about what they had to do 20 years ago to sketch and how much time it took to actually sketch and get that documented. Well, in today's world, what used to take a day to go and, and document right, can be done in you know, 30 minutes to an hour right, because of the power of the tools that are available now. And what that means for adjusters is that they don't have to spend as much time on that part of their job and actually use that extra time to engage with the homeowner, right, complete the file, and then be able to go in and engage on the next file. And so, uh, you know, I see technology as being, as being something that can, can only improve, you know, the value that, that, our, that our adjusters provide. Um, and so I'm, I'm hopeful, right, that as we go and see these new technologies come forward, that we find the right way to uh, bring those to our adjusters, have them adopt it, so that they can actually be more successful as they grow in their careers. And to provide some insight from a 21-year career in claims, believe it or not, there was a similar pushback to change even back in the late 90s and early 2000s. I mean, we went from a paper price list that an adjuster jammed in his back pocket to software solutions like Xactimate and SimSol. We went from Polaroids to digital pictures. We went from a completely handwritten file to one where we could just type out our activity diary instead of writing it with a pen or even using voice to text. Heck, one of the biggest transitions we went through back in 20, 2003 and 2004 was going from a printed estimate and file to a fully digital one. We didn't hand anything in at all anymore, including the invoice. And strangely, this was kind of a big deal. So those things might not seem like something that could literally take away our jobs, but in spite of the uproar from people who didn't want to change, these were things that ended up making it easier for us to do our work, help more people and make a better living. Ultimately, the one thing we can all count on is that things will change. We either adapt or we get left behind. Question of the day. Are you interested in working for a firm that is driven to use technology to support and enhance our jobs as independent adjusters. You owe it to yourself to check out IAS Claim Service at 
IASclaims.com. Adjuster TV is a premier video resource for the independent adjusting community, and we are committed to bringing you the best, most up-to-date, and entertaining program to help you learn what adjusting is all about, if it's right for you, and how to build a rewarding career in claims. A career where you can help people in their time of crisis and earn a great living. For much more information about becoming a successful property or auto claims IA, including many more videos, free tutorials and webinars, the best gear and software for claims, and industry news and IA weather reports, head on over to adjustertv.com. If you like this video, you can help us create more videos just like this by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. Hey, hey, Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today, how are you doing? <laughs> Good. Right. This is actually Guy Grand from Veteran Adjusting School. So you wanna learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center of Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And coming soon, detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos, ad-free. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus.